Hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here. Um, I know this is another little video that's kind of out of my realm, um, but this is just another, uh, I guess you would call it another hobby that I have. Um, ever since I was little, I always loved working on guns or customizing guns and I know this probably is not a very familiar gun to you but this is actually just one of those Savage or Stevens Savage Stevens model 62 22 LR rifles that you can get at Walmart for ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents and I have upgraded it and modernized it did a little bit of barrel modification on it and I decided that because I also do this and it's part of what I like and part of my hobbies that I would show this and another reason I decided to show this is because it has a little bit to do with uh, these trolls that we all have to deal with on our channels and I don't know it's a few videos back I actually got I mean I have several guns I've always had guns I've had them since I was a kid I was taught how to use them properly um, I mean and I lived in the country so we had guns anyhow make a long story short I actually got uh, a speed loader for my PMR 30 and uh, I made a video on it, which is actually, hang on, it's this little guy right here. I actually did a review on it. This little guy right here that, you know, slips over the clip and whatever. And I'm going to apologize for my language right now in this video, and I'm not going to monetize this video because this is my opinion on some of these asshole trolls who just try to start trouble. I did a basic, simple little review nothing political not nothing anything about this and there was an asshole troll that actually had the nerve to call me a racist because I own a gun now I hate to explain to this guy and I and I have I don't answer trolls I don't do anything the second I get a comment like that from someone like that I basically just block them from commenting or liking or doing anything on my channel I'm not going to acknowledge their stupidity and their ignorance. Uh, I should say this person's name, channel name out there, but I'm not even going to do that. I'm not going to even give them that much acknowledgement. Other than the fact that if you do that on my channel, you know, you're not going to get a response from me, and what you're going to get is blocked as much as I can block you. But anyway, that's part of the reason I wanted to do this little quick video is to show you that I do also customize things. Um, I actually shortened and hollow ground this barrel. Uh, for anybody with a reference, you want to be very careful when you do that. You know, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you clean the end of your barrel real good um, so that it doesn't have any little burrs or something where your bullet comes out. And also, you have to pay attention to the legal lengths of the barrel. If you go too far cutting a rifle down you end up with what's called an SBR or short barreled rifle and those are actually illegal. Now you would think because pistols are legal they're not and it's not the fact that they're illegal but if you go b below a certain length and I'm not going to quote any lengths or I'm not going to tell you how to do it I'm not going to say anything else about that if you're going to do something like this make sure you know what you're doing Make sure you, you go by the law and make sure you look up the law because there are also individual state laws for these or for shortening a barrel. But this one is legal. If you do happen to cut it down shorter, you do have to purchase, uh, I believe, a $200 permit from ATF. But just so you know, uh, I have a very, very good friend that is of a darker color skin than me who owns more weapons and more guns than I do and he is about as far away from being a racist as I am. So, uh, I don't think owning a gun makes you a racist. And I just wanted to put that out there because I'm sure that clown that uh, called me that will definitely see this video. I mean, they can see my videos and he can see my videos and he can do and holler and scream all he wants. He just can't comment or, you know, 
participate in any way on my channel. So I just wanted to let you all know that that's a very simple way to deal with troublemakers and trolls is just don't even uh, don't even respond to them. But this was actually a fun little project. I was started working on it when my toe got into uh, a mess. And there we have it. So I'm going to post some before and after, after pictures. You can take a look at it. It wasn't all that expensive. It's still actually under $200 even with all the modifications. Um, these actual flip-up sites that are on it here, uh, they were free because I actually took them off of my CMR, but they just pop up like that, and then you have the, uh, the ability to use iron sights, or what we used to call in the old days iron sights, or in a darker situation, I've mounted a little laser on it, inexpensive little laser. I mean, like I said, the gun was only $99, so I'm not going to put, you know, $1,000 lasers on it. Uh, it does have a Picatinny rail here. I did have to buy this rail and put on it. Uh, but anyway, that was my little rant. I just wanted to give a little rant about trolls and uh, and just because you own something doesn't make you something else. Uh, he knows who he is out there. There's another one. And guess what? I'm still not a racist. You guys have a good one and we'll see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.